Yellow pan tracks are an easy way to trap insects. They are simply a yellow dish filled with liquid that acts as a preservative. They work by attracting bugs to their bright colour, much like a yellow flower. Before you set out to place your traps, you should first prepare your preserving fluid. To do this, you will need a clean plastic bottle to carry the fluid. Here we have used a clean, one litre milk bottle. It is important that you don't use a bottle that has previously contained any poisons or toxic substances. Fill the bottle with clean, fresh water. Then, add salt. For every litre of water, you will need 8 sachets or 4 teaspoons of salt. This is approximately the concentration of seawater and acts as a preservative for your specimens until they are collected. Next, add 5 drops of liquid detergent to your mixing bottle. The detergent acts to break the surface tension of the salt solution, ensuring that specimens cannot escape the trap. Give the bottle a shake and wait a few minutes to ensure the salt has dissolved. You are now ready to install your yellow pan traps in the field. When choosing a site to set up your trap, select a spot that is fairly flat and that is clear of large stones or fallen branches. Traps should be placed in a fairly open position so they are not obstructed from view by dense bushes or thick grass. It is also important that the traps are not disturbed by people and their activities or animals such as livestock. To install a trap, simply place it on the ground and pin each side using a bamboo skewer. This will help to prevent the trap from tipping over. Give the bowl a wiggle to ensure it is stable. Next, pour about one cup of your preserving fluid into the bowl. The bowls you are using should be about three quarters full. Now you'll need to label the trap. Using a lead pencil, mark a label with your surname and trap number. For example, Smith number three. Place the label into the yellow pan. But remember, do not write the labels with pen as the ink will run. Finally, Fill in the data sheet provided. This should include information such as date and time the trap was set, the trap identification code, and a brief description of the trap's location. At some stage during the project, a field technician from the museum will make a visit to your sites with you so that they can record the trap's position using a GPS. Keeping a description of the location will ensure the trap site can be found even once the trap has been removed. The data sheet also includes a column to record photo numbers. Photos are not essential, however they are definitely welcome if you wish to provide them. Photos should be taken from eye level at a distance of approximately 3 metres from the trap. Align the photograph so that the trap is positioned at the bottom centre of view. Now the trap is ready. It can be left in place for 48 hours. You will need some extra water during collections, so make sure you have some handy before setting off. When collecting your traps, it is important to plan ahead so that each trap is left in place for the same length of time, in this case 48 hours. Therefore you should collect the traps in the order they were put out, checking the time as you go. When you have located your trap, carefully lift the bowl off the skewers and place to the side. Fold the gauze provided into a funnel by folding it in half, then in half again. Pull one layer of the fabric away, holding the remaining three layers together. This will form the cone shape. Pour the contents of the bowl through the gauze funnel. The liquid can be left to soak into the ground beneath. Make sure there are no specimens remaining in the bowl. If you do find specimens left behind, use your extra water to flush them out into the gauze. Carefully, place the gauze containing your specimens into a plastic specimen jar. Make sure the label is also in the jar and ensure the lid is screwed on tight. Make a note of the date and time you collected the trap on your data sheet. Collect the bamboo skewers from the ground and the collection is complete. Now it is time to post your specimens. As soon as you have collected all your yellow pan traps, all specimens should be sent immediately to the museum. Place all specimen jars containing labels and specimens and your data sheet into a large envelope and post. It is vital for the integrity of the specimens that they be posted the same day they are collected.